everybody, and welcome back to the blind LP of Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, so, last episode we went through all the clusterfuck that was all that shit, and now we are on chapter 8, the Woodland Snare, so I'm guessing there's going to be a wood battle. And this seems to be the first chapter that will have two battles, uh, if you're looking at the pictures of 2A and then 5 right across from it. And one thing that I uh, explored slash learned um, about the uh, cemetery guy is that he is one of, in fact, like the worst things I've ever heard of in a game, ever. So that guy, every chapter, he has a chance of offering to give you an order, one of ten, and, I, and the tenth is on like New Game Plus or whatever. And he only has like a chance of it. Uh... And it's a pretty high chance that he's going to, like, not, like, he's not going to remember. Like, he's not going to give, like, offer it to you. So the strat is, before you even go, you're supposed to, like, load and save just over and over and over. And sometimes, like, upwards of ten times just to, like, have him offer you the order. And that just made me angry. And, like, if he offers it to you, and then you deny it, if you get enough XP during that same trap, you can go back and get it. But if you proceed to the next chapter, it resets the chance of him offering it. And I'm, that just pissed me off. Because it's it, that is inherently one of the dumbest systems that I've ever heard of in a game. But Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Varius. And Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgris. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin, we should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. Oh, good. You're awake. Where are we? Is everyone all right? It looks like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Ah, scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. But I should be okay. It's not too bad to walk on. Sorry, I know it hurts. But you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted. Okay, so we're probably going to have, like, a stealth mission. Uh, with Welkin and Alicia. And that map, I believe this map is the same one that the scout skirmish is on. The one that I failed miserably. Well, actually, I didn't fail it miserably. I was just pretty unlucky. Uh, but I think I could pro possibly do it now. And I might try. But I'm not going to do that on camera. <laughs> I'm going to... Because I want to save myself the embarrassment of, uh... uh fucking up again. Uh, okay. But you'd think that they would have, like, painkillers on them. Alicia, here's a map of the area. Looks like they've got us surrounded. Okay, so you'll be only be two units out there and your positions are predetermined, okay? That's fine. You must reach the destination to the north to escape the perimeter that they've set up there. Due to darkness, you'll be dealing with far more limited visibility than you're accustomed to. 
You'll see no sight lines for enemies more than a set distance away and be unable to see them in action mode. You also don't have access to the wireless communication equipment in your tank, meaning no orders. Be careful. Okay. Yeah, that's... I wonder why Alicia dies is in red. I wonder if it's because, like, she... It's usually Welkin dies 20 turns past, is just always there, and Alicia dies right. as a mission specific. Ready to start moving? Let's sneak out of their perimeter without being spotted. Without being spotted. So I'm gonna go shoot him. Wow. It's really gotten dark. The lack of light means it's harder to see enemies in the distance. So watch out. Ow! Is your ankle gonna make it? Sorry. I don't know how much I can run like this. That's all right. You set the pace and I'll follow. Is that sound a mortar? Have they spotted us? No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. I'm really hoping that giant red dot is, uh... Okay, so now 300 health seems to be... Ready to go. Uh, good. Oh, gotta love nature. Okay, so they got... Okay, so the red thing still stays on the map. Enemy sighted. Hey, Welkin, what's that light? Oh, that's a luciferin. It's bioluminescent, the same sort of thing as a firefly. Hey, wait. The luciferin feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy spotting us. I mean, I, I'm, it's kind of unfair because I can see a map of the area and I know this map because I played it like three times. So I know there's that one enemy there. See, I'm wondering if Attacking is just a bad thing. Oh, screw you, man. Now. Go to hell. I was I was literally in the grass crawling and he turned around. <laughs> that is acetry. So that thing doesn't seem to uh, go on the bridge, but I will need to dodge Such it most place. likely. This is bad news. What do you figure will happen if they see us? They'll radio our location to the mortars, and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Not high on my list of good things. We'd better keep our heads down out here. So you just have to probably time the run across so the the lights don't shine on you. Moving out. Okay. Oh wow, and she is Okay, so this is a Welkin goes forward and exterminates the people while Alicia stumbles. <laughs> Which makes sense. I like this. I like that they gave her like story realistic uh stuff. It's like, yeah, she's injured, so of course her uh, turn, okay. movement is impaired. Uh, and I'm just hoping I get out of the... Okay, yeah, I should be good. Okay, I'm gonna crawl just in case shit happens. gonna be a bitch trying to evade that searchlight with an impaired her. But it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Okay. 
to go. There's a guy around here, because the map was moving. Hostile sighted. Okay, so can I get this guy? useful to throw the grenade. Take this. <sighs> and I'll place Welkin here. So when he probably comes out and around through here, Welkin will be able to crossfire shoot him. My turn, okay? Oh, seriously? Ugh, I forgot about it. Well, I'm not going to be attacking with her, so... Might as well heal her up now. Heal up again. I like how even as an impaired scout, she probably has more move than any lancer. Okay. So, if, if that scout tries to come and attack me, uh, if he tries to get Welkin, gonna be shot. If he tries to get Alicia, gonna get shot. And he's only has like 20 something health. So probably can only take like two shots. Although I believe Alicia has the has the shorter uh, rifle because I equipped her differently. Okay. Here we go. This person. Hostile sighted. out that way, out and around, okay, so it goes in a circle. Easy enough for Welkin to get through, but I'm probably going to have to crawl through it with, sighted. okay, probably going to have to crawl through it with uh, Alicia. Ooh, and that's a, that's a, Ty the Immortal. I believe he's the one who got me in, uh, the last, in the skirmish. In fact, I'm going to probably have to use the Rand Greaser. Got to be careful. I feel like that's just a trap. Like, if you're somehow able to get through, like, you can get him from behind, but most people aren't going to be able to. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna have to wait to probably get her through, turn, okay? simply because I don't believe she's gonna have the movement capacity to make the clear. Um, yeah, I'd rather not risk it. And just go for it the next time. When the mortar's in like a better place. Okay. I believe he just went up and around and ended up in the same place. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm guessing it's just going by like turn by turn basis where it's like, okay, we believe you'll be around here by next turn. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna prioritize getting her through. sure if she's out of the range yet. So what I'm going to do... Enemy unit spotted. Oh, I'm trying to feel it out so very hard. I could just hit R, B, and A, B. Oh, perfect. I'm just going to move her back. And that way I can let Welkin essentially just do the same thing. Here we go. I am so glad I got this grenade launcher. Seven damage. Er, le left him with 27 health, so I'll be able to take him out next turn if I need to. Ugh, it's so nice having actual range on my grenades now. And because I'm technically not in sight to either, uh, to anyone, uh, he, uh, this guy doesn't come try and attack. He's like purely, uh, Fairly reactional. Okay, so where's the mortar gonna hit again? Oh, in the same place. Okay, cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use go. Welkin. Hostile sighted. Okay. This time he's a little further away. Hostile sighted. Ooh. That's just a scout. Oh, fucking bitch. Huh, this time it's not locking on. try because good yes got rid of him I'm not sure whether or not that scout's gonna be able to I'm not sure whether or not this grass actually hides me from the light I'm 
actually going to end my turn there. My and then turn, okay. see if I can take out that scout with... With the Ryan Breather. Yeah. Looks like it. I do like how, depending on the arc, it does like change the amount of time it takes to uh, to uh, go to for the grenade to hit has actual drop time. Yeah, I'm gonna take the long way around. That way, I can end the turn. In uh, in grass, but I do want Here we to go. go with Welkin again. I'm gonna stand up with him as soon as the circle's by. I'm gonna run by. And that's. I gotta. I could probably get through, but I don't want to risk it. Trying to take this as safe and slow as possible, because you know that's a, that's a stealth mission for you. You're supposed to. Although I wonder if the mortars are uh, position based based on the amount of soldiers you've killed, like who you've killed. It doesn't seem like it. Okay, so let's Here have Welkin go. go in. Now I don't have to. Worry about any soldiers as it is. Because during the skirmish, uh, Ty the Immortal was like here. He was in the. Uh, he was like in this path and would just demolish you if you tried to like, go by him. And that's what lost me the skirmish essentially. seem to block you the grass because that looked like it went right over me okay this is probably a safe distance I wonder if Alicia's almost here Now time to get through this shit with the move of mo movement impaired woman. Um, I normally wouldn't try something this risky, but because there's no humans that I have to worry about, I am slightly more willing. Take a small risk. My turn, now, okay? I can move once again. Gotta come over here. Okay. This one's a pretty uneventful map, which I kind of like. I feel like it's the, uh, we understand you just went through a whole heap and bunch of shit with the last map. Like, the massive tank, the woman that can literally annihilate any unit in, like, four seconds. <laughs> okay. My turn, okay? So Alicia's gonna have, like, three... Movements all on her own. Uh, uh, get there, get there, get there, crawl. Okay. I'm a coming. 
Yeah, I completed it. I can't imagine I'll get a lot of XP for this. Phew. We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried. Oh, wow. I got a lot more than I thought I was going to. That is a whole heap ton. And I got, uh, I'm guessing that's for, uh, shock, uh, shock troopers. Who'd build a cottage way out here? Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Falcon. <laughs> well, this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the first European war. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him. That question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, Welkin. Okay. So let us save that. And let's see if we can go back to uh, town, even though that would be pretty stupid. Oh yeah, you can. You can do stupid shit. <laughs> oh yes, we're lost in the woods, but let's come back here. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. But yeah, let's go check out the idiot man. Well, hello, idiot man. Hello. Hi. I'll teach. Ah, oh, good. I can Use finally get one. A medic to heal a single. Yes, I'll take it because I have the XP. Cool. Very good. I hope we'll. Thank you, thank you so much for your time. Oh, God, God it makes me angry. Um, change review equipment. Um, I'd imagine it's not a machine gun galleon for. Yeah, no. But oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm changing that. It literally just gets better in every possible way. <laughs> gets more range, better aim, more damage to both. Although the damage is only slight. Um, so I should probably... Um, you're the one I'm using with this. I'll at least give you the two. Okay, yeah, I'll exit, because now... Rosie is a lot better in terms of accuracy and power. Uh, let's go to the training field. Level up a unit or two. 
So, could drop this, but we even get a level. Um, let's do that. No, don't need that. I'll level up the engineer. And now I don't have enough for another sniper level, but I can at least get them almost there. Which is better than nothing. Because then the next level will be at like 200 XP or something like that. Good. Potentials are good. Because generally I believe the potentials uh, that you unlock through level up are just generally positive ones. Uh, let's do R&D. Just all this menuing. Okay. Oh! Oh! This is uh, a lot more in-depth than I was expecting. That's kind of bullshit that adding a, uh, adding an effect puts the accuracy down, so you need to even it out. Okay, so those don't have it yet, those don't have it, those don't have it. I didn't even, like, I was like, wow, there isn't much upgrading stuff in, the, in this game. And then I saw the tiny line beneath the last box, and I was like, oh, there's a lot more. Yeah, I'll upgrade my uniform. Yeah, give me, give me, give me defense, because people take bullets in this game, unfortunately. And these cost a bit, so this adds range, which is good, and accuracy. Okay, I was hoping that. Uh, Ooh, I wonder, because this is... I wonder if now I have to choose whether or not I want to put this on, or if these all just go into the galleon. Because it seems like they're different ones. Which kind of sucks. Because they all cost a decent amount of money. So right now I'll do the firepower and the accuracy up, and then go check it out. But I should also look at the Edelweiss. And that means these also go down. So this makes essentially... This is the weapon one. God, this just made the game so much more uh, complicated. Oh my god. My treads are going to be so strong. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll upgrade the machine gun. I mean, it costs a bit, but stuff costs money, doesn't it? Uh, yes. Okay, so now let's go to the barracks. And we need to check out to see whether or not... So, welcome. What are you using? Yep, you have to choose whether or not you want... Okay. So, at this point in time, I would rather everyone be using the S1. Uh, equip all units of the class. Yeah. Because, uh, because while it, while this one does more damage, it decreases the range by 20, and the damage only increases by 1. I'm sure that by the end of the trees, respectively, like, it'll be very different, but at this point in time, it's not all that much. And... Ugh, I'm, I'm trying to debate whether I want to actually have her reusing this, because ideally... I'll just, I'll just keep it with the S1 to have everyone be essentially the same. Yes, let's get out of the barracks. Um, I'll also go to Castle Front Street. Let's see if there's anything new for me to buy while I'm here. Nope, okay, cool. Now we're done with all this, we can go do another map. 
Although, we're at like 40 minutes right now. But, I've never been too opposed to going over time. Although, I may just do the cutscenes, see where we're at, and then end it, and then start with another one, like, immediately. I don't know. It is to be decided. Someone's coming. Freeze. Uh, Woken, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Uh, help me. Welkin, do something! Well? It's no use. The wound's way too deep. It hurts. It's so dark. Oh, your eyes are closed, God, bud. Mother! Mother! It's okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's... <laughs> so you could have just saved yourself that little bit of agony if you just shot the dude as he opened the door. Because you know he's from the enemy team. Team. Side. And it's like, well... He's gonna die anyway, and even if you didn't know he was dying, might as well kill him there as a mercy slash, yo, he's the enemy, and, you know, he probably took part in the mortar that, uh, hurt me and annoyed me. Made me have to do a stealth mission and get a decent amount of XP, in all honesty. You find the boss and Alicia? No, still nothing. Sara, how about you quit messing around and help us look? The Edelweiss still requires maintenance. Your own brother's gone missing here, and you'd rather be doing maintenance work than look? It's because he's missing that I'm doing this. We have no idea when he'll be back, but... Making sure the Edelweiss is ready for him is the best thing I can do for him now. Not like I care either way. I hear what you're saying, kid. Just be sure you rest up while you can. You've been working since first thing this morning. Your Squad 7's only tank pilot. If you pass out on us, we're all toe up. Hear me? Getting a good night's rest is another thing you can do for your brother right now. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Largo. Sure. Okay, and another. Welcome. I... I couldn't do anything for that poor man. He was lying there asking me for help, but all I could do was watch him die. That's not true. You helped him in a way only you could, Alicia. The look on his face when he passed on wasn't one of pain. No, I guess you're right. Thank you, Welkin. I'd always just thought of the Imperials as monsters out to kill Gallians. Because most of them are. But they're just as human as we are, huh? With families of their own to fight for. Yeah, they are. Yeah, but they're killing innocents, so I feel a lot less guilty than I probably should. Like, you can tell what they're going for. Like, 
oh, there's a, there's definitely grayscale in war, and, uh, but like, kind of still villains. <laughs> like, without a doubt, they're the villains, because they don't give a shit. They attack innocent civilians. I can't feel sorry for them at this point. It's like the war started and we all forgot that. It's so simple, but if we weren't at war, he might be back at home with his family now. Hey, Welkin. Did I ever tell you I don't have one? A family, I mean. I grew up in an orphanage. I don't even know my parents' names. No, you didn't. But maybe I'm actually lucky, huh? If you... If you never have a family in the first place, you can't ever lose them. I guess being all alone has its perks. <laughs> Don't even joke about it. You know you're not alone. You've got me and Ys, everybody in Squad 7. We're all a family now, Alicia. Squad 7? A family? Sure. I'm the dad, you're the mom, Rosie and Isara are like daughters, and Largo is the grandpa. Come on, can't you see it? <laughs> if he heard that, you know Largo would kick your butt. Sure, we have our share of fights, but they say that best friends fight the most, right? Especially when they're racist fights. Yeah. So don't go saying you're all on your own, you hear me? Alright, Welkin. And thanks. Huh? Pig? Is that you, Pig? Nope, it's not Pig. Yo, what's up, General Bitch Fud? The helmet and rifle? They belong to Fritz, sir. Are you two the ones who laid him to rest? Yes. There are signs of medical treatment inside the cabin, sir. Why then? Explain to me the reasons you had to save his life. He was delirious. He was crying out for his mother. We may be enemies in this war, but we all have families waiting for us at home. As a human being, I couldn't just sit by and watch a man in pain without trying to do something. We always called him a mama's boy, sir. And now... Sorry, Fritz. I wish we could have been there for you. And you, son. Do you have a family? Yes. I have a younger sister. And I have another sort of family as well. I have the soldiers of my squad. I see. I have a wife and daughter back at home. I feel the same as you. My men are like a second family to me. Thank you. Thank you for honoring Fritz as you did. I'm sure his mother will appreciate it. I suppose we'll meet again on the battlefield. I'm sorry for that. You both seem like good people. For now, so long. Well, I guess we should hurry back and join the squad. You're right. Okay. Reunion in the forest, so I'm guessing that's like a full full one. And that one kind of irks me, where it's like, okay, guess that not everyone in the Gaians are assholes. But, like, they're still kind of fighting this war for, a, like, a dumb purpose. It's like, oh, we want all the Ragnite. It's like, you'll probably do trade. Be like, hey, we want your Ragnite. We are willing to trade. We, we, we need the resource. It's like, okay, cool. But, uh, Okay, now we're running at like 45, and this map might bring us well over like an hour and a half. So I'm going to call the episode here and then start the next one immediately. So I hope you all have a very nice day.